Hi there, this is Melissa from Melissa at Home and welcome back to another video. On today's video, we're going to be talking about my favorite topic. So on today's video, I'm going to share another work from home opportunity. This is a hot lead. It may not last for very long. So keep in mind, if you are new to my channel and new to this video and just viewing this video, that job leads to expire. So if you came across, so if you do happen to come across this job lead, let's say within 24 hours or 48 hours or a week later, and the link no longer works, that just means that they have received enough applicants and the position is closed. Okay. So these are job leads that I share on this channel. And of course we know that job leads don't tend to last. So on today's video, we are going to talk about Prudential and this amazing opportunity that they have available for you who are looking to get started in working from home, especially if you're someone who do not have experience, whether you don't have experience in remote work or just experience in general, but you may have the knowledge and the skills that is needed to succeed in a position. Now, I know you are familiar with Prudential. They are in the financial insurance industry. They basically help individuals as well as institutions improve their financial wellness through life and health insurance. So Prudential is a well-known company. I'm sure you know someone who knows someone or you yourself who are familiar and use Prudential services. Okay. So this is basically a summary of who Prudential is. If you want to learn more about this company, which I always encourage my viewers who are interested in it in a position to make sure that they do their little background research on a company. Okay. Even if you are familiar with the company, you may have heard they are this insurance company, but you may not know the full details you need to know that they're not just an insurance company, but they also offer other, you know, services and benefits. And they have specific company goals that they are looking to achieve. So again, it's important that you do some background research and become very familiar with the company that you're looking to work for. Now, the position that I want to highlight in this video is their customer service associate position, which is remote based. They are hiring only in the US and they have the locations listed here. They have over 40 locations. So you just hit that drop down menu and it will populate all the areas in which they are looking to hire. So they're looking for a customer service associate, and we're just going to quickly go through the job description. Okay. So for this particular job, the job classification is in operations insurance operations. The responsibilities includes reviewing and evaluating incoming documents and routes them to the appropriate workflow handle situations that may require extensive research utilizing Prudential's various business platform for reference. Handle fallouts and escalations. Associates must adhere to service, productivity, and quality metrics, ability to learn multiple processes, and transition from task to task. So those are the responsibilities in a nutshell. So usually in responsibilities, you have keywords, and I talk about, you know, including these keywords in a job post in your resume so that your resume is tailored specifically for a position. Okay. So make sure you include these keywords so that your skills and your experience is directly related to what they're looking for. So if you are someone who may have experience in reviewing and evaluating incoming documents, then that's great. If you have evaluated any sort of document, then that shouldn't be difficult for you to do. Now there's very little indication that you would be taking calls. So I'm not hundred percent sure that this is a non phone based job. If it's a customer service position, usually you will be on the phone. So those are the responsibilities. They just want you to handle situations, whatever those situations are, it could be multiple types of situations. So be prepared that may require extensive research utilizing their platform for reference. So you'll be doing some researching based on situations that may arise for you to re resolve, reviewing and evaluating documents, handle fallout and escalations. Okay. So those are keywords and honestly handling fallout and escalations may require someone who has patience and you are experienced in handling and your experience in handling difficult situations in being a problem 
solver. Okay, so indicate that you are a problem solver. So you can indicate that you are good at solving problems and reaching resolutions. And you can also mention that you are a quick learner because they do indicate that you must have the ability to learn multiple processes. So definitely pay attention to those keywords. The qualifications for this position, it indicates here that zero to three years of experience in insurance industry customer service is preferred, but it's not necessarily required. So if you happen to have zero to three years of experience in insurance industry, which relates to customer service, then this is preferred. You still should go ahead and apply for this position if you have customer service skills, even if it's not in insurance, okay? Strong written and verbal communication skills, must possess excellent organizational skills. You wanna to listen to all these keywords they have listed here to include them in your resume documents. Must be self-motivated. Experience with Microsoft Office is a plus. Ability to communicate with peers and team. Position requires great attention to detail and accuracy. So those are the keywords for this position. And those are kind of like cliche buzzwords. I mentioned buzzwords in a previous video to avoid them, but there are some positions in some companies that don't mind that you use these buzzwords and keywords, okay? So for this particular job, feel free to do so because it is mentioned in their qualifications. And if you're interested in getting your resume up to, up to par for remote-based jobs, then check out my resume remote ready templates in the description section below this video. Also, if you are someone who just wants someone to just completely redo your entire resume, just give it a complete makeover, then hit me up at melissia at home at gmail.com. I can take a look at your resume and offer my services. Okay, so make sure you check out all that information in the description section in the description section below this video. So that's basically it for Prudential in terms of their salary. The range is $44,000 to $66,000 per year. Specific pricing for the role may vary within the above range based on many factors, which includes geographic location, candidate experience, and skills. So again, it's very important that you highlight your skills and experience as it relates to this job so that it can verify that you deserve to get the highest pay, <laughs> that you qualify for the maximum pay. Now, of course, they do mention that location also pay plays a factor in how much you get paid, but but the pay is between 44000 to 66 k per year and not too bad for a position that does not require you to have much experience, right? So this is from Prudential. They are currently hiring in the US. And again, they have the different locations listed at the top of the job post. So make sure you go through to see if your state is listed here, okay? I will be posting other remote-based positions on my website. So make sure you check out the link that states remote-based jobs that are currently hiring for list of opportunities. And the link to this job will be posted as well. So you can read up on more information and get started in your application. Now, if you're ready to apply, you click where it says apply now, and it will take you to this particular page. This page is where you will apply for their position. So it's sort of like a third party page. Click on apply again, and it will bring up this box, start your application. You can auto fill with a resume. So if you already have a resume prepared, you can auto fill it with your resume by uploading your resume. They also have an option for you to apply with your LinkedIn account, which I mentioned in a video in the description section below this video, <laughs> where I talked about five important key, key things that your resume should have. And I mentioned that you should also consider including a LinkedIn account on your resume for these types of opportunities, especially for remote based positions. Okay. And if you don't have a LinkedIn account, then it's free <laughs> to sign up and get started on LinkedIn. These are the options they have for you to apply for this position. Quick, easy options. So you can get started with Prudential with your application, right? And that's basically it for this video. I wish you all the best of luck in this position as well as other work from home job that you are applying to. And don't stress out about it. Just keep plugging in those resumes and applications. Eventually you will hit the mark. Utilize all the tools 
and resources that are available to you. And thank you again for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Happy work from home. Bye.